Missing is based on the narrative of my film. I decided to have it as an intertitle and the inspiration came from This Is England because I like the way it splits up the action rather than having it over the visuals like other films. Plus, I wanted the clear contrast between the background and the font, the black connoting mystery and the white connoting innocence. The effect I had on my title of the film supported the chosen name with the way it disappears. The location of my film was an important aspect because it supported the basis of my narrative which focuses on the protagonist moving to a new country with completely different norms and values. I had the idea of having my protagonist move from Poland to a made-up town that I call Bursit. When I conducted my audience research I went to find out whether my target audience prefer to have the character introduced first or the location. I found out that they would prefer to have the location first rather than the character. However, when it came to the editing process, I decided to have the character first because I wanted to firstly introduce her to my target audience. But not long after I had the pan of my establishing shot, after my protagonist introduced it, in her voiceover, normally in British social drama films, they are set in an urban location, so I had to make sure that I had conformed to this myself by showing the industrial side of my town. Apart from another external location, the rest were in an internal school-based environment. For the costumes, I had my characters to be wearing normal everyday clothing. I wanted my protagonist to fit into this category because just because she is from a different culture environment. I wanted to have her to fit in, in to a certain extent, and I wanted the audience to question why is she getting bullied. In my scenes, I had minimal props, such as the bags in every scene, the pill bottle and school equipment to support the learning environment and what is going on in the scene. The camera work that I had merely consisted of close-ups and medium close-ups because I wanted to portray the emotion and attitude of the characters in the shot, mainly of the protagonist, to give the audience a perception of what is going inside the character's mind. I had a small amount of special effects. They consisted of fades and cross dissolves. This was just to keep the film flowing and if there was a change of location or scene. I did not really have an introduction of the other characters like what I did for the protagonist because of the narrative being based on her. I only had a couple of shots with her and her friends to show the positive aspects of her move, but in my ma narrative, I mainly focused on the negative aspects. I decided to subvert against the typical way in which the titles are normally conveyed in the genre, because they are normally presented in a simplistic way. Instead, I wanted to have a handwritten effect that supported my non digestic voiceover. I wrote a letter... I had this effect for all of my other titles apart from the actual title of my film. I did not want to reveal too much in the opening sequence and basically end up having produced a short film. I wanted to make sure to have an, a variety of Enigma codes to keep the audience engaged. I had the Enigma code portrayed with a drug scene to raise the question, will she take the drugs or won't she? But the biggest enigma code that I had was at the end one with the train station where the audience would question, does the protagonist run away or does she jump in front of the train? For my film, I wanted to support my chosen genre by having the film idea simplistic with not much going on compared with mainstream films. I wanted to conform to this convention and open up the film with the introduction of my main character. With the British social drama films that I have seen, the characters all come from a lower, social, lower working or underclass background with no social mobility. With the examples that I have watched, they all have a narrative which, can, which consists of violence, drugs or alcohol. I wanted to conform to the, one of these narrative ideas to support my genre and have a small reference to drugs in my opening sequence like Kidothood. However, it was a sensitive area to approach and I had to be careful with how I presented it.